if you are a Christian husband right there and you do not want to be one of those people that will get divorced because their wives are dissatisfied, I want you to know that you are blessed today because you're watching this. I will show you what you can do and what others have done to change their story and to reverse the, the divorce trajectory that they were on in their marriage. All right. So what it is, is it that really, what is the, what is the main thing that causes marriages to break down? I share with you the process that it takes. It's one thing after, that builds on the other. There's not, it's not just one specific thing, but all of that we can summarize as dissatisfaction or unmet expectations. Another way to put it is marriages will break down whenever the weakness of one person is too much for the other person to bear. So let's get to the solutions now. How do we solve this problem? Here is your wife that you know you love and you know loves God. And maybe she doesn't love God, but you know you love God. And you want the marriage to work. And you've done everything you know to do. But now she's about to leave. The marriage is struggling. How do we then change the situation? Usually when a person comes to me like that and say, my, my marriage is almost gone and I need to do something quickly and fast to change it. What do I do? I like to sit with them and ask a few questions. When I'm asking those questions, what I'm trying to figure out is what is the woman struggling with? There are two main things. It depends. It doesn't matter what it is. There are two main things that a woman is feeling. When a woman begins to complain, when your wife begins to say things like, I want space, I don't want to be in this space. Can I go somewhere? Can you go somewhere? Um, do we need to divorce? Is this what our marriage is going to be like? She's in at that point where she's, she wants to shut down the whole thing. You may react, and I see a lot of men do that. They react in ways that make it worse. Um, for, for the Christian ones, they start, they start to uh, pray. But the prayer is very selfish and self-centered. They speak and they, they talk about the negatives. They complain. Uh, and when they discover that the complaining is not working, then they try to fix everything. So as a man, we are designed to fix. We love to care for our wives. We love to make her feel good. We love to make her feel cared for. And so what do we do? We run into fix it mode and then we start to fix everything. We try to um, take care of all the chores at home, whatever she has been complaining about in the last couple of months, you want to do all of them at once. It doesn't work. Why? Because she knows that the only reason why you're doing that is because you don't want to lose her. And she's already feeling that she is your servant or your slave, or she's already feeling that you only self selfish and self-centered you care only about yourself because nobody wants to run away for someone that cares about them that that values them and sees them so what you want to do is move away from those behaviors that make you do those actions and what are those thoughts that make you do those things as a man you you have a desire to always be a victor you want to be successful and so losing your wife may to you may be a, f a sign of failure losing your wife to you may be a sign that um you are not a good man of god that you feel that you are it may be a a sign to you that um you have not been able to please your wife so all of those feelings of failure may be what's motivating you to try to get her back or in some cases some people are just angry they're angry that the wife has uh you no know, uh, you no know, taking advantage of them and they don't want to you no know, end up as if they've lost the, the 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 game so they say you know what you have been mean to me and they want to retaliate all of that now when you are in all this mixed mood i want to encourage you to cool all of those down and uh, and trust God that if you follow the steps that he has designed to change your marriage, your marriage will change. Now, there are two things that a wife, your wife is feeling 
that makes her say or act as if she doesn't want to be in this marriage anymore. Either she's afraid of something or she has been hurt. It is always one of those two. And let me tell you, we can change your marriage without having to talk to your wife. Yes, this is the power of God's love. God has designed this such that even you can walk alone by yourself. To change the marriage because if you can remove the fear the marriage will change if you can address the hurt the marriage will change now you don't have to completely bring healing you just have to show that you are interested in doing that i want to assure you that you can still change things as long as you are still in contact with one another it is it becomes very 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 difficult and will take much longer if you no longer have contact if you have been following me up to this point you've gotten to understand that what your wife is complaining about is that she doesn't feel loved she doesn't feel safe she doesn't feel valued and she has concluded that the the cost of trying to get all of that in this marriage is too high compared to what it will mean to just be alone so you need to just quickly as a man rearrange yourself and ask yourself how can i <laughs> make my marriage such that my wife will know and feel that being with me here is way more valuable than her being alone. This is what you want to do. You want to create an atmosphere in the home where she feels that being with you there is way more valuable and way more of a blessing than being alone on her own. And how do you do that? You do that by getting her to feel heard that's the first and the fastest thing that you can do so the goal is to make her know that she is loved just like you did to get her to marry you but you have to do that ignoring all the negatives that you feel about her so you you keep you need what you need to do is create an atmosphere where she feels loved where she feels safe emotionally psychologically and physically where she feels that you are willing to invest in her progress as much as you invest in your progress. This is what she must feel. And of course, for each person is different. The complaints are different. And how you do that will be a bit different. But the goal is the same, to make your wife feel heard. That's the first thing. Um, and then make her feel safe. And once you feel safe, then you can tell let her know that you are ready to invest in a future together. Right? That's it. That's all you need to do. It's, it's, it's as simple as that. And where do you start from? Where do you start from? You start from learning how to listen to her. Now, she's been speaking. She's been complaining for years. And right now, she's tired of complaining. And as long as she has made up her mind that she's on her way out, uh, trying to listen to her will be a bit difficult, but it's not impossible. But what you would be tempted to do is to speak and explain yourself and defend yourself. And the more you do that, the more you destroy. What you need to do is to be listening, not speaking. And you can learn to listen. The first thing that will trigger the ability to listen is to say, I understand that you are not feeling safe. You're not feeling that this marriage is of benefit to you. I'm really sorry that I didn't take note of that all these years. And now that you are leaving or you are doing whatever you're doing, you're not listening to me, you're not talking with me, you're so sad. It has made me see how I've ignored you. So you've created an atmosphere that she has heard you. So all of that, I'm just giving an example. There are many ways to do that. All you want to do is let her know that I hear you now. And I want to hear you more. Once you created the atmosphere that I hear you now, I want to hear you more. And I'm invested in you. You are important to me. Your marriage can turn around. If you can communicate that, you'll see your marriage change. You give some hope to your marriage and you throw some light in the dark tunnel that your wife has been going through for months. She thought that it was on. there was no light. It, now she can see a glimmer of light at the end and she may reconsider talking with you all right so if you are there and you really want to get help right away 
it's is urgent and you you hear what you've heard has helped you you've gone through some of my videos and you know that i know what i'm doing and and you want to get help then go on my on the, in the description right there and book a call with me a 15 minute call we can talk in 15 minutes your life can be changed in 15 minutes once i sit with you and you share with me i would always have something that you can do and of course if you want support and, and coaching and 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 all of that i am ready to do that for you i will do that with you of course there's a price to that but it is nothing compared to the transformation that you want in your marriage